All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's a little bit, uh, this video is a little bit different from uh, fishing or anything like that. We're talking about 3D printers here. Um, I want to do this video because it was extremely uh, difficult. My son wanted a 3D printer. We bought him one that was on Amazon. It's the Ender, it's the Ender 3. Um, you know, it's a high reviews. They have like over 4,000 views. There's like 4.5 in, in a positive sense. So for, for beginners, and uh, that's why I want to walk you through this one versus something like uh, the Viper, any any cubic um, one, and compare the two. Obviously, there's a little bit of a price uh, difference between the two, but I just wanted to go through, and you watch a lot of videos on the internet, and people showed you what to do, and, and again, I wanted to give you, again, a, a real view of somebody that never used it, never ever had anything, had no idea about a uh, 3D printer whatsoever. Um, had no idea you had to put it in a software and G codes and all this other type of stuff. But, you know, I, lessons learned. And, you know, the Ender, the Ender 3, I kind of wanted to kind of go through. So you have to put it all together first and foremost. So, you know, this whole bracket here, you have to put together, which is the, your main bracket. You can see this is kind of loose. So one of the big differences, you see this, this is where you're printing your nozzle is up on the top. This is really super loose. You can see that versus the, you know, the Viper, and that Viper doesn't move at all. So, you know, you start to get a little bit of adjustments, and, and I'm going to explain what happens. You, you get a lot of this stuff that ends up happening. So, but the big thing is, you have to put this thing all together. You know, your top, you put you, you have to put on your, your, uh, your electric box. Um, you know, the bed's already on there. You know, a couple other different things. You know, this, this whole assembly has to be pieced together. Um, this whole assembly has to be pieced together. Um, you know, this whole assembly has to be pieced together. Pretty much everything has to be pieced together. So it, it took, I would say, uh, three, four hours uh, to put it together, and then a couple more. And that took me, took me and my son, another two days, two and a half days to figure it all out. We you know where the filament goes, which is in here. There's a piece that's really, really difficult uh, to get the filament in. Uh, you have to hold this down. And you slide that filament in and it goes through the tube it comes through you know the viper is pretty cool um you know again for somebody that's never used one before um just trying to get into 3d printing and, and just trying to see what's going on like my son wanted to get into it um you know i said it's for beginners but i'm gonna go through you know this one's pretty simple it, it's really all it is is you put your filament it takes really two seconds to put your filament in you slide your filament in there's your roll slide your filament in push that back and it slides automatically it's pretty good this one and the ender i have to take out this screw this little screw here I have to take that out to get the uh, filament in and then slide it all the way through so again another pain in the butt but the one thing i wanted to show you too is all these videos you watch about the ender 3 which is this is it you know they go into it and, and you can see i have no tf card you got, I got this on amazon you can go look at ender 3 it's the same one you know, it says no TF card, which is basically SD card, but it's a little bit different SD card. A normal SD card will not work. You know, so that's the one big notice I think I noticed from all the other videos that are out there about the Ender 3 versus this. Um, you know, this says TF card, everybody else, everybody else says SD card, um, and kind of go through. So I'm going to try to tell you, I'm going to go through really the, the biggest issues I had with this thing and, and, and how to, how, you know, why... I upgraded to the to the Viper, so let's let's go through it really quick. All right, so let's go through it really quick. So I put it all together. We put it all together. Like I said, you know, there's a bracket here, and it has your your belt on it, and that's your drive. Again, it's pretty sloppy. Again, going back to the Viper, it's pretty solid. So that does shake a lot, and, and it kind of affects your prints. Like I said, this is a lot of I don't know how many times we try to print to get it to go, but a lot of garbage this bracket right here has to be secure where it doesn't go up or down so we finally got it to go and the biggest thing is is when you hone this thing in right so if i'm going to do like a prepare auto home and here's where the issue starts to come back with this ender three and i really really didn't like it besides putting it together it took a lot of time you know connecting everything and put all this stuff on is now we had it together we come back and then we figured out, hey, you got to go. And, I'll, and down below, I'll give you the website that we use. It's Cura. It's a software that you use. Again, it makes a G code. It has all the printers out there. I have a ton of printers. You go in, and it'll, it'll slice it 
the image. If you can find images, again, there's a ton of free websites. Just Google, uh, Google it, and you'll find it. But you know, we started printing. It says, okay, we're going to home. There's no directions whatsoever for the Ender 3. But the printer, you go auto home, right? So now what you'll see is this thing will start to adjust and it'll, it'll go into a pre pre existing pre existing setting for this thing it's going down the one thing i noticed was if you look on this bottom there's wheels right you can see there's one there's the other one and there's two in the back and those you have to adjust to get to this this plate has to be almost perfectly level so it makes it very difficult i'm going to explain to you why it makes it so difficult you won't find this in any other video because i searched i searched i spent a lot of time and everybody says oh it's easy just plug in you know plug it in throw in your card and then you're good to go well i'm gonna tear to tell you that's not the case so you know again the sd card is a little bit different you slide the sd card in i've ruined two sd cards because it got stuck in there um you know the viper move this over the viper which is really nice has your you know has your adapter has your adapter card on there which is super easy so you really don't have to mess with the sd card i mean everybody has a thousand of these things laying around right you just slides it right in and you're good to go and there's no issue it also has a computer hookup on it and you can do that so this thing goes into the home auto home okay so now you, i don't know if you could see it that is is not that's uh, pretty close right to that bed so now let's assume i say okay we tested it out and it wasn't sticking to the bed and you go back and clean it alcohol wipes and you got all clean it still wouldn't stick to the bed it's like okay what's going on we quickly realized, not quickly realized, it took a lot of time to realize is that this bed right here has to be 100% level. Even after a print, you have to level. Sometimes it moves. So let's, I'm going to readjust this really quick. So I'm going to go to this prepare. I'm going to disable steppers. So you do auto home. Now I'm going to disable steppers, which means now I can move that to show you. Disable steppers. Now I should be able to. All right, so now I got this thing, able to move it, and now I'm sitting back and saying, what happened? Put the level on it, right? And as you can see, you know, I just put that, that level straight across, and as you can see, I'm not 100% level. And you start messing around with this stuff. So there I'm pretty level from, from front to back on this side. On this side, I'm pretty level front to back. Somewhere in this middle section, I'm off a bit, but that should be good enough. You know, again, one of the other bigger differences is this bedding, right? This bedding is put together with these clips, and that's how it comes, all right? You clip it on, it's just a regular board, and you got the metal underneath. I didn't like that at all. The Viper, this thing is this thing is pretty nice, man. I'm telling you one thing. This thing, you know, haven't had any issues, haven't had to use alcohol wipes or anything like that to get this thing. This bed is it's attached to the heating bed and it sticks really good there's no so far i haven't had any issues with sticking you know printing this big you know this uh i guess it's a, a cup you know and and had no problems and it sticks so problem is you get this thing adjusted you start to use that wheel your auto home does not adjust based off of your bedding you actually have to go into this and go into the controls prepare and this is the biggest problem you won't sign anymore else move access now you have to move your z your z movement once you hit that now you have move access and now you can move it by 10 milliliters one one millimeter or 0.1 millimeter and then that will adjust this um, based on how you want to go so i put this down and i want to adjust right i'm going to move this up now i'm starting to move it up 10 30. and now i'm going to start to adjust it so now you got auto home adjust now you gotta adjust your z settings to get this thing to be really really not uh really good nobody else tells you that no other video i've seen every time oh you just put it on there and you can you can get a g code uh uh that, that will level it and print it and they say oh it's adjust adjust and then you'll be good no this thing does not auto home to this and what i mean by that is that if you adjust this lower or higher this will not adjust this is pre factory setting there is no adjustments to this only on the setting so again you have to go into here and then mess around with your z setting to get this thing perfectly set up so i adjusted it 
I come back here, I go into my prepare, right? I gotta go into my auto home. So this is where you get into trouble. And this is the reason why you get a bunch of this stuff going on, right? So now I go back, auto home. Let's see where we're at. So now, when you go back and you start to print, that will go up, it'll adjust, and it'll make, a, it'll make a line of print going back from the back to the front, and then go over. So the one thing I noticed is, again, if you're Z-setting, you have to make sure that you're really good on that. People use a piece of uh, paper, you will go in there, slide that bed, and I gotta disable that. Disable steppers, now I can move this. Now I gotta come back and I say, I move that to the middle, right now i can grab a piece of paper and say hey am i good or am i bad i don't know right you gotta do a bunch of tests make sure it sticks and, and then go from there so that was the biggest issue level this bed and then getting your z setting which is your up and down to be set to where you could actually get a good print you get stuff like this which is just a a, a pokemon um it was able to do it um you know a lot of the prints would break off like about 80 percent 90 percent it just moved and it would just catch it and just push it off. Um, again, had a ton of this issue. It's just, again, it would get a little bit full. You know, stuff like this. You know, started printing, and then it would just, you know, it would bomb out, right? This, the Viper, you know, yeah, I was able to print this cup. My son was able to print this cup. It took about 10 hours. But, you know, it, I don't know how detailed you can see, but it's really good. There's no issues. Same filament that we used. Um, you know, printed something like this, which is just a cactus. Um, and you know, again, the detail is a lot better, a lot easier. So on the Viper, so big issue is getting that bed level and then adjusting your Z setting. And then once you get your Z setting, you know, then you have to make sure that you know what that Z setting is the next time you use it. You shut it off, then go back, then make sure. You take this mat off, you have to uh, re-level it. Again, for a beginner, I think it's extremely difficult, especially for a kid. It's extremely difficult to do that every single time. I think it's absolutely crazy. I had a real heck of a time doing it. Um, you know, I was lucky, actually me and my daughter ended up doing it, and it was lucky enough we tested it. I was like, oh my gosh, it worked. We kept it on. I and my son print, printed a bunch of stuff for like two days just to get printing. Uh, once we shut it off and restarted the back, everything was out of whack again, the Z setting. Had to go back and adjust it. So, you know, again, that's the biggest issue I have with that. And again, this has too much to me, too much wiggle room. You know, when you're starting to print and that starts to move, or if you bump a table or you bump something, it, it, this is crap. I mean, let, let's be honest. So, you know, that was my biggest issue with the Ender. You know, the Viper has a self, self leveling. It's pretty simple. You put this together, it takes like literally 10 minutes. So it comes already pre, pre put together. You have to put this on, which is your, your electronics and the, the bars. That's it. This whole bar comes uh, already attached. Uh, so it's just two, uh, literally four screws. Uh, six, two screws for here, uh, two screws for this, and then, you know, again, for this this bar, the main bar, again, two screws on each side, and you're done. And then you put on your, your filament um, holder. It's going to took literally 15 minutes to put this together. The Ender uh, 3 took about three hours, but, you know, again, trying to figure everything out was a, was a pain in the butt. This is really just a, a, a plug-and-go type of thing. You know, same stuff we were going through with the G-Code. Acura, you find your what you want to print, you go into Acura, dump it in there, put as a Viper any cubic, uh, put up your settings, and then kind of go from there. Once you put it in, you know, from here, this is pretty easy. You know, you prepare. All right, this is self leveling right there. You just hit the self level, it goes through 16 points and it'll level for you. I haven't had any issues with the leveling. Hit that pre leveling, it will level that bed, you're good to go. Pop in what you want, you hit your print boom and you're ready to print there is no issues whatsoever with this so far this is probably a really uh, great printer it could do more the, the ender 3 can only do pla uh the viper um any cubic could do uh, a lot of different things it could do uh tpu pla uh wood metal um and then there's some type of glass and i don't remember exactly what it is but it's some type of glass <clears throat> Easy to add the filament. Just again, just pop this thing, open this thing up, this little thing, just push this towards you, pull out the filament, pop another filament on. If you want to change the filament, put it in. Really, guys, there is a price difference to it, but Amazon um, for Christmas, they were given $100 off. Um, and then a, you could take $100 off, plus you could do a credit card, which was another $100. So you're getting like $200 off uh, off the Viper. And pretty much it's 
pretty, it's only the little difference between both uh, printers was less than forty dollars. And a Viper is a is a lot better, a lot easier, especially if a kid wants to do it or somebody that that doesn't know anything. Again, that's that's me and my son. We're just getting into three D printing. Um, the Ender again doesn't have a self leveling bed. It's extremely extremely difficult. You have to level it, get the bed all. You know, you got to use a level, get the bed leveled, and then you have to adjust your Z to get it. Hey, guys, I, I, just, I seen the videos. Guys are, you know, showing, oh, it's boom, 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 and you're done. And, you know, those guys are all probably experts of 3D printing. Um, but for a beginner, I, I disagree with Amazon's reviews, what people said on Amazon. For someone that's never used it, um, it's extremely difficult. And I, I wouldn't expect my son to be able to do that every single time. I mean, I had a hard time. Um, you know, I, I just couldn't, you know, we couldn't get it, uh, get it honed in more than one time. Um, the Viper, you know, the bed's a lot better bed. The heating bed, it, it, it's faster, it's more accurate. Like I said, you know, to go and do this Dragon, the Ender 3 would never be able to do this Dragon. Um, you know, I think it has some pretty good detail on it. I think it did a really nice job on, uh, on all of it, really. Um, so I think it did a great job, a lot of small jobs too. So far, I haven't had any issues with the Viper and all the prints that my son has done. Um, you know, again, the Ender had a lot of this. Now you would print, and again, uh, one night I stayed up, I stayed up to, me and my wife stayed up, and it was, I don't know, late at night waiting for a print to get finished, and, you know, right at the 80%, it, it something bumps, I don't know what happened. Again, this thing is too wiggly. It got hit, and it, it ruined the whole print, so got a waste of time. Uh, so in my opinion, if you're looking for a printer and you really want to do 3D printing and uh, you're looking, you'll see a lot of stuff about the Ender uh, 3. I, I won't waste my money on it. Spend the extra money. Get something like the Viper. It's auto. It's auto uh, leveling. Makes it easy. Even the SD card, like I said, I ruined two SD cards in, in this one just because of the way you have to put it in. Uh, you have to mess around with the leveling all the time. I, I don't think this thing could ever, and again, I know people say it back, you know, you know watch all these videos. I, I don't think a, it, it could print anything of, of any quality. A lot of small stuff, like I said, this little Pokemon, um, it definitely could do. Um, anything bigger than that, it, you know, we never had one that was successful. Um, anything with a detailed uh, grooves or de any type of detailing, it, it wouldn't do. Again, you just get all of this stuff um, on top of it. So that's all I wanted to tell you guys is, if you guys are into it, you guys are looking at 3D printing, um, you know there's a difference between the two, um, and I just wanted to give you my honest feedback of of what it is, um, and tell you how, you know my my pains and agonies of of going through it and trying to figure out, um, you know which one works, which one doesn't work, and ultimately just try to figure it out. And, and again, uh, big hands down, uh, big thumbs down to the Ender Three. Uh, I, I personally would never buy it again or recommend it, um, especially for a kid. Um, if you're an adult, um, you know, if you're really good at this stuff and, and, and you use printers before, I'm sure it's not a big deal. But again, I don't like the, there's no auto adjustment to it or auto leveling. Um, I think that's extremely difficult. Um, you know, the Z settings and have to go back and adjust your height on, on, on your printing. And again, just the quality of it, like I said, the, the SD card's crap. Uh, you know, this has too much wiggle. Again, you can just see the difference. And I, I worried about that from day one. That wiggle, I worried about from day one. Now, there's no tighten that thing up. It's on that belt on the back. So, um, again, I don't have a problem building something for three, four hours, putting it together. But I do have a problem when you get into this type of stuff. And, you know, it's way too much wiggle. You get into, and there's, you know, again, the Viper, there's basically nothing. It doesn't even wiggle. It's securely in there. So, um, maybe it's something bad. I don't know. Um, you know, again, the big thing that I noticed from all the other videos and the one difference between this one when I open it up is it says no TF card. On all the other videos, it says uh, SD card. Um, you know, you can use an SD card. It has to be a, a specific SD card. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment below. I will put the link um, to the Kira software that you could get. Um, hey, if you have any questions, comment below. Let me know. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helps. All right, I'm out.